Hi everyone, welcome back to Peaceful Heart Studio. My name's Vicky and today I'm going to be talking to you about my printer. Um, I recently got this Epson XP970 printer. It's an A3 printer, it does, um, apparently does 300 GSM card stock. So I wanted to, um, to buy this printer and, and see if it works for me and my business. Um, so it arrived, I got it off Amazon, I think I got it for £160. It was actually an X display model. Um, I think they're about 220 brand new. So I bought this printer. I didn't buy the um, the genuine inks because they're so expensive. I bought um, some different inks, which seem to work absolutely fine with the printer. I'll put a link to them below. Um, so I'm gonna to talk to you today about how I set up the printer to um, link it to the computer um, after I come into a basically a problem straight away, almost immediately. Okay, so um, I was, a printer arrived and I had this little installation software disk. Um, so I inputted that into, um, I haven't got an actual CD drive in my laptop. I have this little external one, so I plugged that in. Everything started to, to work fine. Everything was going as it should. It was downloading the drivers, um, started checking things. And then suddenly um, it just ran into an issue straight away. As soon as it started to try and connect the the printer to the laptop, it just said it was an unsuccessful. It kept saying unsuccessful, unsuccessful. I ran through some troubleshooting um, things, didn't work. So I made sure that the, the Wi-Fi that the, the printer was connected to had the same name as what it had on the computer. Both had extremely strong signals and I still could not um, get them to link up. So I did a lot of research, couldn't find anything um, except one um, one person said that I needed to to print off a check network connection, which I did through the, the printer. There's some options um, on the settings, I think it was. It'd be different on your scanner. Um, so I, I did that, I printed that off. It came up with this, which it says check was all passed. Most of them are passed, so I didn't have a clue. But then it did say the same SSID may be set on several wireless rotors. Check the settings on the wireless rotor and change the SSID. That means nothing to me. I'm not very tech minded. I've got no idea what that means. Tried to search on the internet, tried to search an Epson website, couldn't find anything. It just kept saying, yeah, check the SSID on your rotor. How do I do that? I've no idea. So then I got onto Epson. Um, I was on the online chat. I think I wasted about 20 minutes and I've got through to someone um, who was very helpful and they basically explained to me this and I've put it up on the screen I'm going to leave it up there for a second read it out so she said that your rotor may be um, have both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands you want to know if your rotor is dual band doesn't mean anything to me that printers can only connect to 2.4 gigahertz frequency most people nowadays have a dual band rotor that emits 2.4 and five. Sometimes the 2.4 gigahertz is le is disabled or low priority. If your computer is set to five gigahertz and the printer is on 2.4 gigahertz, they won't be able to communicate, which I guess is what was happening. Um, what your internet service can do is enable you to connect to either frequency by giving you two distinctive network names to log into. Still, that doesn't really mean much to me at all. At this point, I would suggest you contact your internet service provider and ask the following. If you have a dual band rotor, please ask if you can split the two frequencies and give you two distinctively different network names. Okay, so I did that. I got onto BT and um, I was on the online chat again. It took a while to get through to them. Um, I spoke to somebody. I basically just copy and pasted that and I said, this is what Epson has told me to do. Um, and she said, no, what they will do is turn off the five gigahertz uh, frequency. So the only one that's coming from the rotor is the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. And then my computer and uh, printer will be able to talk to each other. I asked about what the five gigahertz turning that off would do, because I thought I don't want slow internet just because I've got a printer that's wireless. And she said um, that the, the five gigahertz band is good for when you're close to the rotor and it gives a strong signal and fast internet speed. The 2.4 gigahertz is for when you're in the back of the house, upstairs, it reaches further, but the internet is slower. So I use my, my laptop mostly away from the router anyway, so it thought it didn't really make a difference. So I said, yep, yeah, turn the five off and we'll see how it goes. And she also said, once the printer and the computer are linked, I can always contact them again and get the five turned back on. Because once that connection is made, then it's made. So then you can turn the five on and we shouldn't have a problem. So she did that, turned the 5 gigahertz off, lo and behold, the printer 
and the computer are now talking to each other. So I've solved it. I hope this is helpful. It's drove me mad for a whole day. Um, good luck if this happens to you. Hopefully you, you can solve it this way. It's, it's a pain. All these, you know, these so complicated. What happens to us being able to plug in a printer and go, I don't know, but um, there you go. Hopefully help someone. Bye-bye for now.